Right, like I usually say, I usually read the comments. And some comments are easy to read because they are marvellous, not just because they agree with me or say something positive, but they contain a valid point, which I really like. Because I make these videos daily, not really think about it or giving a lot of thoughts about the facts behind my impression when it comes to Hungarian, British or other countries' things, or life and, and the universe. So, it's always good to have comments on the YouTube videos, because if I'm unsure about something when I watch the video, I can always check out the comments, and if someone disproves it using about two sentences, then I know that, okay, the video was made with good intentions, but it's ultimately false. Luckily, I don't have to be 100% accurate, mostly because in this capitalist world, nobody pays me to do the research, and I don't have a research team with a combined number of PhDs of a hundred to support me, like a government should operate, for instance, because I would expect from a prime minister, for instance, to be always more or less right, or a CEO to be more or less right, because they have the resources. I don't. Having that said, the comments that usually state something similar to go and touch myself inappropriately are always hard to read, because I always try to give some thoughts about the comments and what could be behind them, even though having in mind that lots of people are trolls on the internet, still it's, well, more or less upsetting, should I say? Although I can't complain, because I have food on the table, nobody pays me to make these videos, and I don't really care. But I care a little bit. However, in good old Hungarian fashion, I can't just leave these comments alone without any answer, because comments that are unanswered could make these people think that they can get away with such a thing. So, for instance, I talk about some political thing, and these people comment some very mean things under it, so what could be the appropriate answer? Well, reciprocating the wishes of death is always a good thing to do. However, these comments sometimes inspire me, because since these almost always come from Hungarians, because it's within Hungarian culture that I don't have to disprove you, but I just tell you mean things, while in English culture, usually people expect some sort of explanation with the blame. Now, while I do not wish to bash Hungary unreasonably, it's a fine country, it has its faults and it has its good things in it, um, think about the, the many inventors we've given to the world, but I thought that every time someone writes something mean, I'm always inspired to say something mean about the country containing these people as well. I know it's not really just, and it's probably a very bad thing to do, but it's fun, because it's true. So, today's true fact about something that is Hungarian and negative is that after 1989, when Hungarians freed themselves and, and spread over the world as well um, as holidays go, because now you didn't have to go into elaborate schemes to use your limited travels and, and limited money and, and the overarching government officials to, like, you know, essentially what I'm trying to say that you could have gone anywhere, literally. It, it was, you, you were free to go anywhere in the world as long as you had a valid passport. They might have needed some, some visa, visa or, or other travel documents, but you know, whatever. Technically, it was much easier, that's what I'm saying. So, Hungarians went to, first went to Austria and Croatia and Slovenia and, you know, some surrounding countries, but most famously, they went to Austria. However, Hungarians were used to being kind of poor, and somehow this poorness justified that it was okay for them to steal lots of fancy stuff from restaurants, including cups, utensils, uh, hotel things like, uh, I don't know, a TV or whatever. Um, and therefore, there was this thing that everybody knew about, uh, that in those years, most restaurants or, or hotels 
had a Hungarian sign saying, please don't steal. So there you go. That's a fun fact about the country, isn't it? I mean, it's much more fun than saying that ultimately Hungary during the Second World War was a Nazi country. But, um, and not even something like, you know, when, when it was forced into something. No, it, the government decided. I mean, not the people. By all means, whenever I say something negative, I never mean people individually, but the country and its reputation. Feel free to bash me on that one. Although, um, as I usually state, these are just impressions and not cold hard facts. Although it's very, very hard to deny that the stealing stuff was a thing. Why was that a thing? Well, what you have to understand is that during the socialist period, it was customary to kind of lift things and take them home from factories because you, you couldn't have stuff. It wasn't a free market we had. And if you wanted to get something, you have you had to get it. So I fully understand that coming from that kind of era, you see things on the side of the road in a hotel room offered without being chained to the walls. You could think that, well, what's stopping me to take them? I mean, I've been doing that for 40 years, I mean, as a country. So, you know. So yeah, well, it's not a complete explanation, but, you know, it was fun. So, I'm not saying that every time someone comments something mean, I'm gonna share another embarrassing fact about Hungary, but, well, you know, I might get inspired. Having that said, Hungary, again, has done plenty of fun things. In the future, probably, I want to talk about all the fun things that we did and the world benefited from them. Thanks for watching and have a fun day. Goodbye.